lot of breaking news involving your money. Federal Reserve Chair Jerome Powell is speaking right now after the central bank declined to raise interest rates. Yeah, this is the third time since June the Fed has paused hikes. As you can see on a chart we're going to show you, the Fed has been backing off of its aggressive rate hiking. As a reminder, the Federal Reserve started bumping up interest rates back in March 2022 with the goal of taming soaring inflation. NBC News business and data reporter Brian Chung is here following all of it. So, Brian, why the pause in raising interest rates again, and what could it mean for the housing market? Yeah, well, it's because they've been so aggressive in the last year and a half that they decide now they're in a place where, yes, they've raised interest rates, but we can keep them at that high level to continue to try to deliberately slow this economy and take high inflation down from where it is around now, 3.7 percent on a yearly basis, to somewhere closer to 2 percent. Now, because of this, what we should expect is for mortgage rates to remain high. Some people are seeing 8 percent 30-year mortgage rates, which is pretty eye-popping when you mm -hmm. consider we were just seeing 3% only a few years ago. But with the Federal Reserve not talking or even thinking about cutting interest rates, the expectation is that those mortgage rates, even if they don't raise rates, will still remain pretty elevated. And Brian, even with this pause, right, interest rates are just one facet of the American economy. Yeah, but if we look sure. at like GDP, gross domestic product, that has been growing, inflation growing. So what does that all mean for just an everyday American's budget and spending and the overall direction of the economy? Yeah, well, I mean, let's just call it like it is, right? We're still adding jobs on a monthly basis. We're going to get another read on that, by the way, on Friday. And inflation is coming down. It's not yet mission accomplished. Prices are still high at the store. You cannot deny that fact. But when you consider that we're a few years out from the pandemic and there was this concern we had heard, had heard from some of the so quote, quote unquote smart money, the bankers have been saying, well, we're worried about going into a recession. You're just not seeing those indicators, at least as of right now, November 2023. So this is indeed something that the Federal Reserve is looking at and saying, look, this looks good for right now. That's the reason why they don't want to rock the boat too much. You raise interest rates too high, that could tank the economy. If you let interest rates too low, you're going to let inflation get out of control. So for right now, the Fed's saying, let's just take a pause, take a breather here, and see what the economy looks like in a few months. All right, Brian Chung for us. Brian, thanks. Appreciate thanks. it. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.